All right, so I've been playing Crash 4. Today is the 22nd of March. Is it? Yeah, I think it is. And I just wanted to record something for Crash 4. Not look like at my usually highly edited gameplay videos, which I like to do. But instead, this is one of those games where you can already see that I am at the second to last level of the game, Cortex Castle. And I, you know, my, my OCD makes me have to do bonus levels and try to get as many crates as I can. And I've been doing the bonus rooms. And I don't know if you can tell, but this frame rate in this level is really fucking bad. I don't know if you see all that stuttering. And I'm not trying to shit on the game, but everything else has been great. This game on the Switch has been great. I already love this game. Performance-wise on the Switch was superb. It was really good. But then I started to get to here, and I, I, after like a few like dozen deaths, or probably more than that, probably like a hundred at least, I, I saw this stuttering get, like, really bad. And even when, like, I pause the game and unpause, it still is really bad. I have the controller down. My hands, as you can hear, I, I have nothing in my hands. I'm clapping to myself. Uh, there's nothing in my hands. And it's still stuttering like crazy. This wouldn't necessarily be a problem, like, as big as a problem, if it wasn't a Crash game. Because... You need to be precise as hell. And I was wondering, okay, maybe it might look good if I slow use the slowdown effect. No. It, it performs better. But I don't know if you saw there, there was there was a lag in in its stopping. It should have already stopped. Instead it goes on for like a second longer or two seconds. And like I said, you need to be precise as hell in this game. So I fuck up my jumps because of that. Hell, I even recorded a video, screen video, of how bad this got. And I'm just going to stop talking and just let you see it. I don't know if you saw that, but around here where I'm trying to do the jumps, you could see that I it looks like I just jump in place, but it, in reality, I am actually holding to the right as much as I can, but because of the game stuttering like crazy, I'm not able to move at all. This level, in its frame rate and stuttering, is atrocious. Everything else runs great, and I still highly recommend this game. But, Jesus Christ, look at this frame drop. I don't know if anyone else has had this problem on Crash 4, or especially this level. I'm gonna record this, so you can see how bad this gets, and I'm just gonna include the most notable moments of how bad this frame drop is. I don't know if you can see, but the fucking box on the bottom is even stuttering. It's very little, but it's super noticeable. Wow, even the audio is lagging now? Jesus. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but even the audio is, like, stuttering now. I want to say I've been on this bonus area for, like, an hour, and I, I remember it being fine before, but I think it was really until recently that I started to know the really bad stuttering, and it's super noticeable while I'm playing. Like, it's actually, like, impossible to do. I have not gotten, like, I think I've gotten halfway in this bonus level because of how bad this stuttering is. And I really just had to record this just to prove to you all how bad this stuttering is. Like, before, I was able to, like, I, I swear to God, I was able to, like, precisely do my jumps. Now I can't even. So I'm just thinking I'm gonna have to move on because of how bad this frame rate is. And I've seen, I, you know, I have seen the rest of this level. I've seen the shit you had to do, you have to do 
in order to progress with all the masks. And if if the frame rate is like that for for that section, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. I don't know if this game is going to be possible. I'm like thinking I might have to like close out and reopen the game. Jesus Christ, this is just not a This is just not okay. Like I said, this is on the 22nd of March. This is like it's only been it's actually been exactly a, uh, it's been, all, it's been over a week since this game has come out. Uh, 10 days to be precise. And for the moment, Jesus, I can't believe they did that. For the moment, they have not released a patch for this level. So, they need to fix this, because this is just unplayable right now. And I genuinely do love this game. And it's such, like, a shame to see it like this. And, like I said, it's specifically only this level. I can't move. If you guys can hear that stuttering, this is how bad the level is lagging. As you can see, I play this on retro, so it's not like I can, like, you know, keep dying it to see if I can actually do it, it will game over. And besides the Cortex levels, I have done this game completely on retro, because the Cortex levels are just so fu- What the hell is that frame rate drop? Did you see that? Oh my god, I'm so glad I'm fucking recording this. Hi everyone, Editor Aiden here. I'm just editing the video, and ignore the, the fan in the back, or whatever it sounds like, it's the dehumidifier. I know it's loud as hell. It's not loud to me, but I know it's super loud picking up the audio. Anyway, I was going through the uh, the the recording, and I you know I was talking about the frame rate dip on this particular part, and I just wanted to see. I just wanted to see what the frames for this was like. So I'm here, you know, editing the video, uh, doing this frame by frame. I these are my fingers. This is the video. Just so you know, it's not anyone else. And uh, let's just take this part, for example. All right, I'm pressing this frame by frame. You might notice, right around here, it just stops. So this is one, two, three, four. Four frames of me not being able to move. Let's keep going. Here. All right. Here. I stop again. This is where I edited in my zoom in. Now we'll be able to see, see this bullshit better. You see how many frames that was of me not, just not being able to move? One, two, three, four, five, six. Five frames. And another like four. And then another four. Look how many frames there are of me just not being able to move. And then something decides to hit me. After, I don't know about you guys, but I'd say that sword is not touching Coco. Now, let's even get rid of the ghost. Nah, I don't think that sword is touching Coco. And even here, when the death activates... I don't think she's anywhere near him. And then he just teleports back into like nothing like ever happened. Animation's great in this game. Activision. What the fuck? All right, back to me complaining about Crash. All right. I don't think I actually have a choice. I need to fucking restart this. I swear, if the stuttering does not go away... Oh, yeah, I also... I didn't record this, because... Re remember, uh... I'm just playing this for my own... For, you know, free time. But there was a moment where, like, I loaded up one of the levels... And it not only crashed the game... It not only crashed the Switch... But it soft-locked... It, it soft-locked my Switch. So I could not press anything. I could not exit to the home menu. And what... I couldn't turn the game... I couldn't turn like, you know, the switch off, and when I took it out of the dock, it, like, 
rebooted my system. And I thought it might be the level. But I don't know what happened. So, and this was like, I think two levels ago. Maybe it was the last level. But these last, this like last world has major problems so far. And look at this. Look at this. The game is running fine. This is how the game usually runs. And this is completely fine. This is how I've been playing it for like the entire game. Like for that. I did not see those lasers there. But still, even for like that, I'm able to, you know, correctly jump and platform. And now I have to get used to this again because I'm so used to the stuttering. Look, no stuttering, no audio stutter stuttering. This is how the game has been playing out. I don't know what's been going on with that last part. All right, so I'm gonna end this here. I'm gonna go back to playing this game because I really do love this game. But this is just not okay. If this, if this, if this happens, I'll update you. If if this continues. But my God, this is just not okay. All right, so last time I'm appearing in this video, both editor me and past me. So the update is that I beat the game like. I want to say three hours ago, which is why I'm getting to this video now because I just wanted to finish the game and update you guys. From what I saw, uh, I, I like, I, I beat the bonus room. I stayed on retro uh, and on the bonus room, I figured out that the reason why it started to stutter is because I like started dying so much that the game just couldn't process my shittiness. So I think it was just... The constant having to load in over and over again and if that's the case I don't know I don't I think that's not it but it's the closest I could get to it if that's the case that's not good game design but like I said I stayed on retro I beat the final boss I beat cortex castle on retro I I like I said I also I, I couldn't beat the cortex solo levels on his own um, just his cortex solo levels on Marta on modern because I just can't control Cortex. I don't know how to control him. I don't really, I don't really, I can't really play him is what I'm trying to say. So I just constantly die. And unlike the level where you're trying to like jump to the boarding ship and there's like a bunch of packages coming in your way, I died over 200 times. I'm not even kidding. Mostly was because I was trying to get all the boxes at the very end which, my god, that was a bad mistake. But it was also uh, because of Cortex. But I don't know why I'm talking about this. Um, beat the game on Retro for much as I could. A lagging stopped for the most part besides the constant deaths on the bonus room. And loved the game. Uh, yeah. Alright. Uh, I guess didn't really have an outro. Just saying this is just not okay. So here's your outro. Bye.